What's up, everyone? It's Ghost from Ghost Corp by Joe here today, and today I'm here with Morgan. We are back at locals finally after so long. So, what did you do? Uh, I beat up everybody with Skittles. Skittles. Yes. Skittles. Okay. Okay. And and you have this nice this nice shiny yeah, field this, center. This nice shit all mat. This nice. First place field center. I don't have the mat. I don't have the mat yet. Oh, that's crazy. Because yeah. I won. I top eight um, another Yu Gi Oh day, and then I won another one. I that's just haven't insane. picked up my other one yet. Oh, that's and, insane. And just today I got first place of this deck. So I didn't intend this deck to be like super competitive, but so far it's been extremely successful. So I, I really love it. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. That's that's insane. And it's Skittles. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Without further ado. Okay, right. I'm not gonna go too much in depth about the combo, just just to um, get some basic info about the deck yeah. for new players and other misters. So I'm playing the starters, uh, 3 red, 3 yellow, triple mining, and triple I meet you. So any one of these cards is one card combo. Okay. So this is the strongest one because this can search at least um, an extender. And this one can at least search reborn. Right. This is the weakest one because um, it has minus to go search any one of these. Right. And this one, one card alone is not bad. It can still end on um, the, the towers, but it's still kind of okay. Right, right. And if you open any combo of these, you can try to play around draw a bit by if you predict they have it, just right. add an extender. Or right. So that's your bread and butter combo. That's what you really want to Very start. nice. Yep. We'll play, actually play two Doyen. So uh, a, lot of people, a lot of people play the um, just one, yeah. but I don't really believe it. So like once you use one for the combo, right. in the late grind game, you can't really get another one unless you reborn it or summon off Splash Mates. Right. So if you search another one, you have much more flexibility. You can search, you have much more play. Right. So. It's really much more useful. Like it, it can even add itself. You can tar add another copy of itself in the graveyard. So it's really useful in that way. I really like to. Uh, we play the Garnet Tuner. Uh, nothing else to say. It's mathematician on summon. You send the Den Mari with it. It's good for um, single players. So. Yeah. Uh, we play the Hyari and the Kachiri. Um, I don't really play the Doshin, but this is useful because this extends and searches this. And this is useful for um, making, this, making your Templar unaffected. So it could potentially protect uh, your big guy from the Guru. Yeah. So, and it's also just pretty damn thick. Right, like, right, right. It has an effect in the field that can protect your cards from destruction. Okay. So that's kind of nice. And um, yeah, it's pretty useful. I even make this like going first, make access code. You make right. 53, and then you make access code unaffected by card effects. Insane. Yeah. And then it's, it's pseudo tower. Yeah. You play the one Dan Mari. You send us off the Guru, it's basically hot red dragon arch beam. Yeah. It's really important. And it even has an on hand effect, so if you have it in your hand, if your Ignister battles, you can just pitch it and then negate the attack. Uh, so it's like Karibo. Yeah. Oh, Karibo's actually good now. That's Karibo's crazy. Pretty good. That's not bad. For hand traps, we play Triple Ash, Triple Droll, Double Bell, and Triple Infirm. So Why not are, a third bell? Uh, I feel like just two bells is fine. Okay. Like, it's really good, but it's not like super applicable. But against certain matchups, yes, it would be good. I mean, like Ash and Imperm are pretty self-explanatory. This is really good now because of Fire Brigade. Right. This one because yeah, auto wins against Drytron, so it's pretty so um, yeah. It's the reason why Colossus is not back with us. Yeah. And it's valid because, you know, you play so many like one card starters, you play a bunch of hand traps. Exactly. So, you know, you make your life easier, you make going second or going, you know, after getting hand trapped yourself much more easier. Skittles with hand traps. Yep. So we have the bread and butter, the yep. island. So this is what keeps you extending in the combo. So as long as you have no monsters in your main monster zone, you can just keep spamming them from your hand. As right. long as every time you do it, it's a different attribute from each other. Yeah. So a lot of people play three, and they play as a contact, but I don't really do it because you are, you're already losing to draw a lot for it already. Right. And you're already like searching this efficiently with the the link one. Right. So you don't really need any more. So I think two is pretty fine for a deck space. Don't ever ogre that card. Don't ever, don't ever ogre that card. It, it does it, not do anything. Yeah. I don't know. What, I don't know why you've been playing over in this format. Exactly. Uh, I'll play double reborn. Yes. I was thinking about playing three because it's a very good extender, but 
Yeah, it's a really clutch card. It can help a lot. <laughs> good extender. Very good. For the talents. Uh, it's real, super, super insane. Like, it helped me so much, like, using all the effects. Yeah. Like, I don't even use the, the draw two most often. I most likely just rip a card from their hand. Fair. Because, yeah. like, I get, they ask me at, like, a wrong time, and then I steal away their Nibiru. Exactly. Or I, st I steal away their Drawer Ash, and then... And you just keep going. I, I just keep going, and I win. Exactly. So. Skittle's too strong. Taste the rainbow. And, of course, call, call by the Grave. Yes. We don't want to lose the draw. Of course. Natural. Yeah. We have the Duster. I'm main decking it in case I'm going against the one back row deck, but... I mean, it comes up sometimes, but you know, in the main deck, going second against, like, say, um, a Tri Brigade or a, sal a salad deck. Oh, yeah. It's, it's pretty nice. Striker set five yeah. pass. And then the only other trap card, we play Triple Strike. Uh, this card cool. saves my life so many times. So basically, in this deck, you're getting hand trapped to the Wazoo. Yes. But in case that you have to pass on, like, one Skittle, you set this. And you hit them on like a, a key moment, like they try to summon Mu Beta. Yeah. You strike this. Um, you strike any other starter card. It's yeah. really good. And even if you still survive, if they try to like say Herald or Arclight, um, not Arclight, um, Orange Light you, yeah. you strike this. Yeah. So it's pretty good in turn. That's good. Oh, uh, they can't ultimate this that either. They can't ultimate it. That's crazy. Really it's too fast. Uh, extra to play double baby. Search it. It's Psycho Dragon. Right. It's really useful for your extension. Ling Rebo. Card's really insane. Uh, you make this. There. It negates Rebo. Yes. It negates uh, Shizum. It negates. Um, it forces out um, stuff like um, Sanguine. It's really good. Play Link Spider. In case they Nibiru me. Um, you can still keep going as long as you use the token on it. Right. It's not bad. Use the Wicked. Just to search tuner. Yes. Play two Splash Mage. Um, just for extension and utility, just for Link Climb. Uh, why is it Peasant Rare? Uh, don't. I'll, I'll, I'll hit you up with the Ultra. Ignore, it's okay. Ignore, it's okay. So, one update jammer to make OTK so much more easier. Yes. Uh, Transcode Talker, you know, just to go beyond. Yeah. Uh, I was considering playing two instead, yeah. but um, I felt like I needed only one for now. Right. There's sometimes I, I wanted two, but it's okay. Uh, another thing that I want to add is like I'm not playing Security Dragon, which some big nisters do, because I I am playing Nibiru in the side deck yes. to get. But sometimes I don't really need to get rid of Nibiru. Right. I could just summon like a Picari, search a um, Yari, yeah. and then go into a Link 3 like transcode anyway. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter. I can still make access code even with Nibiru and I can just win. Yes. Uh, play Soul Charge, one copy. Card's insane. Yeah. Oh, it's insane, yes. Uh, Fire Phoenix, uh, we never summon it unless there's um, awkward scenarios. But, Sounds about right. Yeah, but this, this card's meant to be revealed off of I Me Too, search the, the fire. So, really good in that aspect. Yes. And play the best boy, oh. the game ender, yes. the champion, access code talker. Yeah. Lucky to have this one before exactly. we got bought out. My god. Yeah. And we play the god himself. Of course. The Amogus. Yes. Cybers. The ultimate Skittle. The, ult the ultimate Skittle. Yes. Yeah. You, play, you summon this normally at 4k and you automatically win. The arrival of the rainbow. Most yes. of the time. You typically just go onto 4,000 attack, typically. Sounds about right. And then we actually do play the other non-Link okay. Nisters. So these are useful for like, if I want to try to bait out back row without summoning access code, this one can pop monsters, and this one can pop back row. And this one has a really nice effect that could spin back a card. If another card you control is destroyed. Right. So it's pretty interesting. So that's pretty much the side deck. I know some people don't play this, but I still like the utility of like revealing this with the I meet you and then searching. It's still a good bait card. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. And for the side, we have the triple Nibiru. So you, pre you pretty much auto win against like any combo deck. Of course, of course, yeah. of course. Uh, the triple Lancia, you auto win against Tri Brigade. Or me. Uh, virtual, <laughs> uh, yeah, our Grand Mod, yeah, shout out to the ghost himself. Yeah, Virtual World invoked. He can't see that. Cry. Uh, double Lightning Storm, uh, cause Sky Striker, what is any other offensive kind of deck? Pretty much. Yeah. 
uh, triple twin twister. Again, pretty good for back row. Yeah. It's a little bit awkward than cosmic because you pitch one. Like, let's one aside one in going first. Yeah. But still. But you have one card starter. Yeah, so I have one card starter, so whatever I pitch doesn't really matter. Exactly. And we play triple DDG. Oh, too good. Yeah, Everyone so good. knows this now. Yeah, like, playing this against, like, a Burning Abyss or Shadal, you flip this, the other play so awkwardly or have their force to pass. Exactly. Yeah. Shadal was, fusion? No. Yeah. I was considering playing, like, um, uh, anti-spell instead, but I felt like this was much more applicable. Right. Or some, I was thinking about playing a pointer instead, but there's not really much. Right. Really, you're, unless you're interested in the kaiju, but I don't know if enough people respect that yet. Yeah. So I'm just playing DDG. Right. But I am playing the order just to see oh. the Skyker going first. Of course. Yeah. Yes, naturally, naturally, naturally. Yeah, this was for every boot, but I think the twist, the triple twin and the lightnings were enough. I think that's more, yeah, than, so enough. more than enough. Yes, yes, and yes. And that's, that's pretty much it. All right, was there anything that you would probably change after having those experiences? I know you you won Yu-Gi-Oh! days, you talked Yu-Gi-Oh! days, and you're, uh, yeah, what you I call just it? keep winning locals after locals. Exactly, undefeated multiple times. That's insane, actually. Um, so was there anything that you would change now that you had a little bit more time? Um, I'd probably change like text like, in accordance with the meta, but so far it's been ex performing like extremely well. So, so Skittles are the way. Skittles are the way. So okay. Shout out to my man I. Yes. The spirit of his deck. Yes. Yeah. All his friends. So. All right. Any it. other uh, shout outs for you today? Uh, shout outs to all my bros from the Ghost Corp. Yes. And, we are family. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. Well, that does it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Consider hitting that subscribe button and tapping that notification bell so you never miss a new video. We're actually back at local, so we'll be able to do non Grenmaju content for you, those who were waiting for that. And this has been the Ghost from Ghost Corp YGO signing off.